I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is an answer to the question of what a toaster oven is good for. Um, and toaster ovens are actually very common. A lot of people have these, sometimes in addition to a pop-up toaster. Um, and the biggest thing I think that these are useful for is for reheating food where you want it to stay crisp. Um, so if you've got a microwave, which most people do, that's great for heating up soups, heating up things that have more of a liquid component to them. But, you know, if you're going to um, heat up a bagel that was a day old or something like that, um, or you're going to make, you know, heat up pizza, if you try to put that in the microwave, it becomes sort of mushy and it loses the crispness. Versus a toaster oven, because it's convective heat instead of that microwave's heating up um, your food, it's going to actually keep it crisp. It's going to keep it from getting kind of soggy and... Uh, and weird, and it's going to maintain the texture, especially for those kinds of foods that are breads and, and that kind of thing, like pizza or a bagel. Um, and it's great for heating up those kinds of items. Certainly much better than a microwave. It's not going to be great at heating up soup. Convective heat, not great for that. But again, reheating, something that toaster ovens do excel at. Another thing that's maybe a little more surprising to people is um, broiling. They're actually great for broiling. So most toaster ovens do have a setting where you can actually broil. You can see mine has that setting on here. And it's going to use the top heating element. You've usually got elements on the top and the bottom. And get it up to a really high temperature. And the reason these are so good for broiling is that your food, when you put it in here, and obviously don't put your hand in there when it's heated up, but um, it's going to be really close to the heating element. Versus in a standard wall oven, you might have a lot more space. Even if you move your rack up to a higher setting here, you're still going to be a good distance away from those heating elements. And there's going to be a lot of empty space in the oven so that that heat's not going to be transferred as efficiently. But again, in a toaster oven, um, your food's going to be super close to the top. And this is great, you know, if you're um, cooking like chicken or steak or something where you want to get a nice sear on the outside before you put it into your traditional oven. Um, you can throw it in your toaster oven, turn it onto the broil setting, keep a close eye on it, um, and, uh, and broil it there and just heat the top up, get that nice browned aspect before you finish it in the oven. This is also great for something like if you want to make a pizza bagel and you want to melt um, cheese on top of something or anything where you want that heat from above. Um, again, having that broiler and having it close to your food like this, where it's only a couple inches away in a toaster oven, is a great feature. Um, obviously, keep a closer eye on it than you would in your traditional oven, because again, since it is so close, you can burn more easily. Another great thing about toaster ovens, they're good for when you're heating up more food. So, for example, you know, if you're going to make um, some waffles, some frozen waffles or something, if you've got a standard toaster where you might have like two vertical slots, you can only make two waffles at once, and um, it's going to be a lot harder to make them for a group. Versus a toaster oven, you've usually got a lot more real estate. You've got a, um, a rack that can pull out. I can probably fit six uh, microwave waffles on here and heat them up all at once. So if you've got a big family, you're heating stuff up for a group, it's nice to have the ability to um, use this toaster oven to do that reheating. Another nice thing with toaster ovens, another reason to use them, um, versatility. You know, if you've got, again, like a pizza bagel, you're not going to be able to put that in the microwave. The bagel is going to get really solid, soggy. You're not going to be able to put that in a standard um, vertical slot toaster because the cheese and sauce are just going to moosh down into the bottom of it. Versus in a toaster oven, you can get, you know, little oven um, uh, trays. You could line this with tin foil. Put your, uh, your bagel on there, put a little sauce on top, a little cheese, pop that in there, heat it up um, in the toaster oven. And again, you're going to get a nice toasted bagel and you're going to get the cheese melted on top. Um, but you're not going to have it like sliding off the side or anything there. Um, so if you want something a little more versatile, where you can put a broader range of things, or maybe making a breakfast sandwich, you know, put in an English muffin and two halves here, and put some cheese and some turkey bacon over top of that, and uh, and go ahead and put that in the oven for a little bit. It's nice to be able to have um, just a little more versatility, a little bit more space than you would with a uh, traditional toaster, but you don't want to have to bring out your full wall oven because it's going to take forever to get that heated up and preheated and ready. You can just throw things in your toaster oven, um, close it up, and be good to go. And I think the final thing I would say is, you know, toaster ovens are great for when you have limited space. So if you have a small apartment um, or if you're on an RV or a boat or you're in a dorm room um, and you don't have access to a full wall oven, it's great to have a toaster oven because you can do a lot of the same functions that you would do um, on a, in a standard oven in the toaster oven. And that includes baking. 
Um, so most toaster ovens have a toast setting, which I've got set on mine here, or a baking setting where you can adjust and control the temperature. So you can actually bake a wide variety of things in a toaster oven, just like you would in a traditional oven. And you'd be amazed, you can even make like a full pie if you want to in a toaster oven. Again, just watch that it doesn't brown or burn um, on the top there because it is closer to the heating element, so it's more sensitive.